I'm Steve. Welcome to Hately Motorsport. Today we're going to learn about changing the diff gear ratios in a car. I was going to make a video about squaring up and blocking the rear end of the car. I had to work late tonight, I've run out of time. So this is just going to be a quick one about changing the ratios and the quick change diff. Hopefully I get a bit more time next week, we're not racing next week, so hopefully I get a bit more time to uh, make a video about squaring the car. So let's get into it. So what we're doing today is changing the quick change gears in the back of the Winders diff. Now this is a Winders diff. All the quick change sprint car diffs are very much the same. Now the reason we're changing these gears is we've just ran at Simpson. Our next race is at Lang. Lang's a lot shorter track. My wife thinks we're not running at Lang. She, she's got this theory that we should miss Lang and go to straight into the SummerSlam, which is the week after, which is a three round series in Hamilton, Mount Gambia and Warrnambool. The three races over three days over the weekend. She thinks we should miss Lang because one of two things happened at Lang. Um, I either do really, really well or I don't. But I'm putting in the Lang gears anyway because I need to make a video and it'll give me an excuse to tell my wife that I've already got it set up for Lang. Uh, so we better go. Now, I've been told you never ever use a rattle gun on these studs because the housings are pretty soft and they can pull out and they can do all sorts of things. And you don't have to, but I've jacked the car up just to make it a little bit easier to get to the bolts. You can do it on the ground with the car race ready, but it just makes it a little bit easier. This is normally tucked up in here. It gets a little bit tricky, especially when you want to use a rattle gun on the bolts. Now, I normally just start undoing a few random ones. I leave a couple in at the top. Under a few bottom ones, on the bottom ones. As we get them undone, all the oil runs out. Cover slides off. You be a bit careful. Sometimes these gears slide off and drop in. You definitely don't want that. It splashes oil everywhere, makes a mess. New gears. Now we've got a couple of these gear totes, these boxes that we put them in. I need to buy a couple more actually, that might be a job for tomorrow. Um, slip the gears out. Leave them sitting on this gear change tray to drain. Now, I always leave this gear change tray at home and forget to take it to the track. Um, and what I'm going to do, uh, someone I race with the other day, I changed the gears at the track and he gave me a, a barbecue tin, barbecue tray, aluminium barbecue tray. So I'm going to buy a couple of those. Buy a packet. I can come at a packet of ten for two dollars at the supermarket. I'm going to buy a packet of those and uh, take them in the truck just so you can use them and throw them away. These are a bit of a pain. You got to clean them out and a bit of a pain at the track. So and that's it. And we slip the new. So we slip the new gears in. The big gear always to the top. Well. In Australia, racing wingless sprints, it always goes to the top. You don't put them in upside down. Your gear ratio will be way out. Now, this shaft spins, so you can normally get it to move around a bit and get it to slip in. That's it. Cover back on. The gassets on them are pretty good. I've never, ever replaced the gasket on the back of this diff. Start all the bolts up. Try and do these up pretty even. Yeah, as much as I do them up with a rattle gun when I say you shouldn't, I do always check them with a spanner. Just nip them up. Make sure they're tight. Now, 
I don't know why, but this plug always, no matter how loose you do it, always seems to tighten itself up. And we undo it pretty well every single week. Squirt a bit of oil in it. And we're done. Now there's a couple of ways of squirting oil in A couple of guys use funnels and a piece of pipe and I saw the other day someone was telling me about some bags you can buy that you fill up with oil and just the right amount and you just squish it in and forget about it. I just buy these bottles. These are power steering oil bottles that have got a little fill tube on them. Just keep filling them up with uh well up it's full. Keep filling up with gear off from work. Screw the plug back in. Nip it up. Wipe off some excess oil. Quite regular, I get a bit of brake cleaner. Wipe this off just so the dirt doesn't stick to it. But I'm being lazy today. And we're done. Simple as that. Job done. Um, no racing this weekend, so I'm not sure what we're going to do. I might actually get on to making those videos about square in the rear end and the front end and a few different things. So if you want to watch those videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you could leave a comment down below convincing my wife that we need to race at Lang in a couple of weeks' time, that'd be great. Um, or even hop on the links down below to the Facebook page and... Yeah, leave a comment there saying you'd love to see us racing at Lang. Um, I love Lang. It's an excellent little track. Tiny little bull ring. It's good fun. Make sure you like the video. Share it around. Do what you got to do. I'll see you this weekend. Don't know what the video is going to be about. We'll work it out.